Welcome to Day 10 of the Canon Law in a Year podcast. Today we have Canons 43 through 47. If you want to follow along, we are using the translation from the Canon Law Society of Great Britain and Ireland, which you can see on the website www.canonlaw.ninja, linked in the description below. Beginning. Canon 43. The executor of an administrative act may, in his prudent judgment, substitute another for himself, unless substitution has been forbidden or he has been deliberately chosen as the only person to be executor, or a specific person has been designated as substitute. However, in these cases, the executor may commit the preparatory acts to another. Canon 44. An administrative act can also be executed by the executor's successor in office, unless the first had been chosen deliberately as the only person to be executor. Canon 45. If there has been any error in the execution of an administrative act, the executor may execute it again. Canon 46. An administrative act does not cease on the expiry of the authority of the person issuing it, unless the law expressly provides otherwise. So say, for example, a bishop issues an act right before he retires. The act is still to be carried out, even though the person who issued it, the bishop, is no longer in the position to issue more. Canon 47. The revocation of an administrative act by another administrative act of the competent authority takes effect only from the moment at which the person to whom it was issued is lawfully notified. So basically, a person is not expected to stop doing something until they have been told to stop doing it. And that brings us to the end of day 10. I will see you all tomorrow for Canons 48 through 52. Have a great day, and God bless you.